to my generation, those of us between the ages of 18 to 45. This message is primarily for you. Our time for change, our time for a revolution is at hand. We live in a world where one of the most inhumane, grotesque, and senseless wars of our human existence was waged in a place like this. We live in a world where innocent children whose sole crime is being born are subject to these living conditions when the very backyards they play in are literally lined with these stones. Oh, mama, na for cry, Africa. Oh, mama, na for cry, Africa. Coming to um, the young people, PMDC, APC and SLPP for a response to what you have just said and um, uh, to see how we can end the culture of violence in the electioneering process. It's tea break, it's coming to your United Nations Radio on FM 103. Much, much more is left to be done. But then... Yes, good evening. Yeah, good evening, sir. Yeah. What's your name? I'm in Imbran Kamara. Okay, Imbran Kamara, I see you smoke tall. How old are you now? I mean, uh, 19 years. 19 years. Oh, what actually makes you, you smoke this jambaya as well? Man, I can take this tear for stress. I know you get another chance. On one comes like the arrival. Uniting all the way and the tribal. This year one coming well vital. Draw no favor, not too impartial. Here, Johnny Root. Come listen up now, are you feeling? What kind of stress you get to make you smoke jamba? Well, let's take a look from where my city was getting. Text me. Man, we even go to college. You know, they know. So, man, can just take this tear and then for, for Lee Man, we forget some of the things that we have in the country. You see the country, it's man and the queen. Not in the country, for man and the queen. And it begins, man. This <laughs> yes, JR alongside Amsterdam Leeds with a brand new song. Listen carefully and get some teachings. Book them out, JR. Sweet mama Salo, I think for giving birth to me Since my first days on earth, you nurtured and nurtured me Left me alone 17 years removed from home, I wanted to capture as much footage of my return as possible But airport security, even in Africa, can be a pain in the ass No Oh, no more film. Oh, 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 okay. So we put the camera away, but as soon as we had our luggage in the vehicle and had cleared the airport, as I looked out the window, taking in the scenery with my own two eyes, I failed to notice that the footage I was recording on my camera was just zooming by. And at this pace, one would have a hard time assessing life on the ground. But I knew once we stopped, the reality would be unveiled. We were immediately surrounded by kids, many of whom, if not all, to deal with the struggle in Sierra Leone, are either selling something or just flat out begging for money. Fine. Hey. 
So boys, bro. Now they go school. Yes, sir. Yes. Class four. Class four. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, what kind of one? Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh yes, sir. Okay, so this school. What are they? Who school is it? School. AC school. Eh. Me na AC. Do you pass? Me na pass. Yeah. Ogo class five, sir. Ogo class five? Yes, sir. That's what I did last year. Ah, AC school. I hope you are here. Nah, nah, nah. You are alive. Hmm. Eh, nami. Eh, nami. I'm sitting here. Nah, I'm sitting here. Let's go. Yeah, boy. Wait, 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 Bolo. Bolo. Eh, Bolo, Bolo. Where are you going? Sayukanu. Sayukanu. Mimi never. Come on, you know. I saw your collar. Bolo. You know who they are. I saw your collar. Yeah. Sayukanu. I don't make a lot. Yes. But I put that on. Yeah. Yeah. Me, me, I pass for go class. Bolo. Yes, sir. Put your hands up, Mr. All right. Now for now, two. Ah, me. Okay. If I get you, if I get you, no problem, I am. What's your name? Fatmata. Fatmata, what's your last name? Kamara. Miss Kamara. Okay. I'm going to take you. I'm going to go to school. Yeah. Okay. Do you? I beg. Bolo. Yes, sir. Boss man. Take them all. Waka Safu. The images were the same just about everywhere I traveled in Sierra Leone. A vast majority of our nation's youth, our country's future, are caught in a cycle of a never-ending struggle. At the start of my senior year at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill, I honestly didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I did know that I wanted to help people, particularly kids from my native country, but I didn't know exactly how I was going to go about doing it. That's when I met Mr. David Sontag, a former senior vice president of 20th Century Fox. During my senior year, I was one of, I believe, eight students accepted into his master class for screenwriting. Meeting him, I believe, helped me better understand my purpose in life. He encouraged me to pursue a career in screenwriting and ultimately filmmaking and explained to me that if I chose this as a career path, it shouldn't be to make money. Instead, it should be for the responsibility of using such a powerful medium of communication to entertain, but also to educate the world for the greater good of mankind. Later that semester, my mom took me to a U.S. Senate House subcommittee hearing on African affairs. The title of the hearing was Sierra Leone's Youngest Victims We Can't Ignore. Eight victims, six of whom were kids, sat in front of that committee and testified to their experiences during the war. As I listened to their testimonies, I remember feeling so much anger for the international world because I just felt like they weren't doing anything to help my country. But then I locked eyes briefly with two-year-old Memunatu Mansari. In all honesty, I was overcome with shame as I looked into those innocent and piercing eyes. It was almost as if she was asking me, how could you let this happen to me? Here I was, mad at the international world, when in truth I myself have done nothing. It was a rude awakening. That Senate hearing opened my eyes, and ultimately, it validated my newfound passion for filmmaking. <laughs>